Alexander Zverev, the first time in his young life he's made this walk onto the court as a Masters 1000 finalist. Championship point. Alexander Zverev Jr. is a Masters 1000 champion. I know that this uh, this was maybe one of the best tournaments I ever played. It was kind of surprised, but I kind of believed in him because I knew he can beat great players and and I knew he could do it on any pretty much any surface. To win a Masters 1000, uh, to beat so many great players in the same week is, is definitely a great achievement. It's very big for especially a 20 year old or for any player. The way he played in Rome was absolutely spectacular. The final against Novak Djokovic, that's that next level. Uh, one of the few guys that's been able to break through to actually win a Masters 1000 against one of the big four, especially on the clay. Uh, it seems like his progress is happening so rapidly. Obviously, you have some new faces on the tour. Uh, Alexander Zverev, for example, is 20 years old, but already almost top 10 of the world. So. It's, it, you know, things, things evolve, things change each year, each season. If a wind of change is blowing through men's tennis, at the head of it is Germany's Sascha Zverev. A precocious talent now with an ATP World Tour Masters 1000 title. Amongst his other highlights this season was a win in Munich, which meant everything to his father. Winning the whole thing was, uh, was quite amazing. It was the first time ever I actually saw him that emotional. Um, but, you know, he, he knows how much it means to me winning my first title in Germany. And, and you know, he's been there for the whole way and uh, he's, he's, he's li really living the life that I'm living. So um, it's always great to see someone like him getting, getting a little bit uh, emotional and knowing what it means to him as well. Along with his family network, the key to Sasha's success has been old-fashioned hard work. Well, in the offseason, I did a lot of hard physical work, um, a lot of hard training, you know, try to improve my serve, try to improve my forehand back, and all those kinds of things. But, uh, you know, the physical part was probably one of the hardest things that needed to improve. Zverev has such an excellent foundation. How much stronger is he going to get? How quickly and how big of an impact is that going to be? He's already so competitive and so skilled and capable of beating anyone. He's viable on all surfaces. Uh, he's a guy that I really believe can and probably will be number one in the world, a multiple major champion, um, and competitive in all of our big events on the ATP World Tour. Team Zverev is dedicated in their bid to realize Sasha's potential, and the tennis world is taking notice. My team is expanding uh, right now. I mean, you know, uh, we just got Hugo, who was with the ATP physio staff for, for 12 years. You know, a few years ago we got Jazz, so, you know, there's a lot of pieces coming together. So my, my team is great, and obviously everybody's understanding each other very well, and everybody's listening to each other, and everybody respects each other. Someone like Jess says, okay, today afternoon we need an extra physical session. You know, someone like my dad, who's my coach, I'm not going to argue against it. So and that's why the team atmosphere is so great. Yeah, he's been playing great tennis. Um, he's got a massive future ahead. I actually envy him in a way. You know, he does all the right things. He's very professional. And, you know, he's always kind to me. We, we played juniors together, so it was always good, um, you know, having him to sort of talk to or hang out with at, at different, you know, different tournaments. And he's got a lot of potential. I'm very proud of my brother because he's, he's 10 years younger, but since day one I knew he's going to be a great player, so I'm very proud of that because I always believed in him, I think, more than anyone else, and I knew he's going to be good one day. You know, I knew before that, that I could compete and win against the best players in the world. Of course, in Rome, I showed that and won the tournament, which is something very special. Um, but I think the hard work and the, you know, the things I was doing in the practice court have to continue. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered. All the joy and the pain from week two at Wimbledon. Plus, Gilles Muller, Luxembourg's grass court giant. Don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com and chat with us on the ATP's official social network, MyATP, now on Vixlet, and on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. See you next week.